there's any way to answer that question and not lose. Uh, <laughs> you get one pass during this interview. If you'd like to take the pass, you can take that pass. Pass for that one. Okay. <laughs> Why is Mars important? Why does Mars matter? Sure, well, I think the, it's, it's really a fundamental decision we need to make um, as a civilization. Uh, you know, what, what kind of future do we want? Do we want a future where we are forever confined to one planet until some eventual extinction event, how far in the future that might occur? Um, or do we want to become a multi planet species um, and, and then ultimately be out there among the stars, be among many planets, many star systems? And I think the latter is a far more exciting and inspiring future than the former. Um, and, and Mars is the next uh, natural step. Um, in fact, it's the only planet we really have a shot at, at establishing a self-sustaining city on. Um, and, uh, and I think once we do establish such a city, there will be a strong forcing function for the improvement of spaceflight technology that will then enable us to uh, establish colonies elsewhere in the solar system and ultimately extend beyond, the, beyond our solar system. Um, and, um, and so there's the defensive reason of uh, protecting the future of humanity, ensuring that the light of consciousness is not extinguished uh, should some calamity befall Earth. Uh, but also, and, and that's the defensive reason, but personally I find the, the, what, what um, gets me more excited is, is the fact that this would be an incredible adventure. I mean, it would be like the greatest adventure ever. Um, and it, it would be exciting and inspiring. And there need to be things that excite and inspire people. You have to be, you know, reasons why you get up in the morning, you can't just be solving problems. It's gotta be, yeah, something, something great's gonna happen in the future. Yeah, we talked about this at length yesterday. It's, it's not an exit strategy or a backup plan right. for humankind <laughs> or it fails. Right. It's also to inspire people on Earth, yeah. right? And to transcend and to, think, to go beyond our um, mental limits of what we think we can achieve. Right, I mean, think of how sort of how incredible the Apollo program was, and just, yeah. I mean, if, if you ask anyone, it's a, name, name some of humanity's greatest achievements in mm -hmm. the 20th century, the, the Apollo program, landing on the moon, would, would make, make, in many of those places, be number one. When will there be a manned SpaceX mission, and when will you go to Mars? <laughs> We're pretty close to to do it to to uh, sending crew up uh, to the space station. That's currently scheduled for the end of next year. Yeah. Um, so that'll be that'll be exciting, uh, without uh, dragging two spacecraft. And then um, uh, we'll have a next generation uh, rocket and, and, and spacecraft um, beyond the Falcon Dragon series. Uh, and I'm hoping to uh, describe the. That, that architecture um, later this year uh, at the International Astronautical Congress. Going to Mars is definitely going to be, um, it's going to be hard and, and dangerous and you know, difficult in probably every, every way you can imagine. But um, so it certainly wouldn't be, you know, if, if, you're, if, 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 you, if you care about sort of being safe and comfortable, going to Mars would, would be a terrible choice.